Hello and welcome back to the Beautiful Things channel. It's been a while since I've done a what I've been loving video, so I thought it was time to do one for you now. So these things are not crafty at all. They are everyday things that I use in my day-to-day -day life that I've enjoyed using um, and that I want to share with you. And some of them you will have heard of before, some of them you might not, some of them might interest you, some of them might not. Now, none of these posts have been sponsored. These are all things that I've bought with my own money and things that I like and enjoy and I want to share with you. Let's get cracking. So the first thing that I want to show you is something I've picked up in the supermarket for Izzy and that is this Kids Cold Infuse by Twinings. Now, I've seen these before but adult versions I guess, regular versions, but they have brought out this brand specifically with children in mind. And they're these little pyramid tea bags and they simply contain dried fruit and absolutely no nasties. So there is no additional sugar, uh, there is no sweeteners, there is no artificial flavourings, um, they are all natural ingredients. And the idea of them is basically to get kids drinking more water. Now I don't struggle with my two drinking water at all, thankfully they really like it and they'll drink plenty of it. But I know there are lots of mums out there whose kids just simply won't drink it. So pop one of these into their water bottle, it infuses with lovely fruity flavours um, and they smell absolutely delicious, I have to admit. This one is blackcurrant and apple and this one is strawberry lemonade. But they come in lots of different flavours um, and I think they're designed, unlike the adult ones which are sort of like a cold herbal tea, these ones are more fruity and real sweet kind of smells so they're a little bit more like cordial um, and they're a little bit more sort of encouraging. They do change the colour of the water unfortunately so if you're like me and your school simply will allow nothing other than water in water bottles then you're not going to get away with these. I have taken a tub into school and spoken to the headmaster to see if they can get away with them um, but as he said it's slippery slope once you let one person do one thing then it all starts to go downhill so they are sticking to their water only policy but for daytimes it's a good idea I think they're really nice Izzy really likes them and it's something a little bit different to drink aside from water that isn't going to rot their teeth or fill them with aspartame the next thing I'm loving right now is a toiletry product and uh, this is from the body shop and it is their chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter now I'm a terror, I don't really do very much to my skin at all other than use micellar water every day to take off my makeup um, and just to cleanse my face and pop on some basic moisturiser and that is all I do. I rarely wear makeup but when I do I need to get it off well and this is brilliant. It is just a butter. You can see inside like a creamy lotion. You don't need very much of it. You just pop it onto your fingers, rub it into your face with a little bit of water and then rinse it off with a flannel or just with your hands. I like to use a flannel because then you can see what it's taking off and it literally melts away your makeup, including eye makeup and waterproof mascara. It is absolutely brilliant at shifting the grime and I absolutely love it. It leaves your skin feeling really nice and moisturised, it doesn't dry out at all and I'm a big fan. So it's not expensive, it is available from the body shop. I will try and pop a link down below for you um, and you can go and get your own. The next thing I want to show you is completely random. It is a food product. Now I first saw this on on Jordan Page's channel. Um, I love Jordan's channel and I love her Instagram. She's all about budgeting, saving money, um, and being really frugal when it comes to cooking, um, preparing food for a large family, and saving money. And she loves Costco, and I am a member of Costco too. And in it, they sell this Costco's own Kirkland Signature Premium Chunk chicken breast in a can. Now I know it sounds disgusting but it's really really not. When you open it you do get a bit of a waft 
<laughs> I will give you that. It is in water inside, but it's basically just like tuna. It's the same consistency as tuna when you take it out of the can. It's kind of all mushed up, um, but it's a pinky kind of undercooked colour. <laughs> If I'm honest, it doesn't look particularly nice. It doesn't smell particularly nice. But if you are making a chicken mayo for your kids' sandwiches or even your own sandwiches, it is absolutely fine. Chuck in some mayo, pop a bit of sweet corn in there too if you want, and you have a really good, really nice, tasty sandwich filling. It's also great if you want to stir it through some pasta. You could put it with some pasta and some olives. I don't personally like them, but it would be nice, I'm sure. A bit like a tuna niswas salad, for instance, but if you weren't a fan of fish, you could do a chicken niswas. Um, I love it. It comes in packs of three cans. Um, I think it's about £2.50 for the three cans, but it's often on special offer. And I just keep them in my cupboard because when you want to just be able to grab something and whiz something up with the stuff that you've got in your pantry, it is absolutely perfect. So if you can close your eyes to how it looks and your nose to how it smells when you first open the can, trust me, it tastes good. This next one is a little bit... Uh, interesting. Now for those of you who are like me who are a little bit curvy and have slightly larger thighs than you potentially would like, wearing a dress or a skirt no matter what time of year can be really quite uncomfortable um, because we can suffer from what is affectionately known as chub rub. <laughs> now there are all sorts of creams, lotions, potions, people swear by talcum powder, you can buy anti-chafing gel which I know I've mentioned on here before, I use it on my feet so that my shoes don't rub, um, but you cannot be a simple pair of cycling shorts and they are becoming harder to find I've found. But I was looking on Amazon the other day and I discovered these by Sloggy. They are called Sloggy Basic Plus. They are the long length and they are just simply cotton cycling shorts. I'll show you inside. They're 95% cotton, 5% elastane. They're not very attractive, but who cares? So here they are. Ta-da! So not very attractive at all, they have um, like an elasticated um, lace around the bottoms to stop them from riding up which is really handy and although these are the long they come to just above the knees and I don't like to wear anything above my knees anyway so that's absolutely perfect for me and I've been really enjoying them <laughs> if you can enjoy chub rub shorts but they're great i bought them in this neutral color because i thought that would be ideal to wear under anything um but they do come in black and navy and now that i'm happy with them i'm going to order myself another pair just to give you an idea on sizing i am a 12 to 14 and i bought the British size 12 because I figured I wanted them to be fairly snug and they are perfectly comfortable. I am probably nearer to a 14 than I am to a 10, that's for sure. Um, so just to give you an idea of sizing. But I would really recommend them. They are great and again I will link them down below for you. Now I've got a couple more things to show you. The first one is something that I picked up in my local Poundland, but I know you can buy it in, um, no I didn't buy it in Poundland, that's a lie. I thought I did, but I didn't. I think I might have bought this in Home Bargains, or possibly Asda's, but it's got a 90p price on it, so it definitely wasn't from Poundland. But it is Imperial Leather Refreshers, Swizzle Refreshers flavour. I wanted something that was fun for the kids to use in the shower, um, and I just happened to pick it up the other day and use it myself, <laughs> um, because I was in a bit of a hurry. And it's lovely, it smells delicious. It's so nice, it kind of reminds me of lemon sherbet, but it's not. Um, but it's really, really delicious. It's obviously the Swizzles Refreshers, which are chewy sweets that we have here in the UK for anyone watching from the other side of the water. But it's Imperial Leather, it's Cousins, and it's really, really nice. It left my skin feeling really smooth and really soft, and it smells delicious. So though it is designed for children, 
big kids can use it too. Next up, I want to show you some bits that I bought for Isabel. She has recently started swimming with the school and so had to be kitted out at the beginning of term. So I headed to Decathlon, which is a really large um, sportswear shop, I suppose. Um, but unlike traditional sports shop, it does a lot of camping and hiking and all sorts of things like that. So it's where you'd go to buy stuff if you were kayaking or mountain biking. It's a little bit more far out than your standard tennis and football kind of sports shop. Um, but they have their own brand of products there, which I like, which are inexpensive um, and they normally come in nice colors. So I picked up some bits that I thought would be interesting for you. Now, first things first, all of us mums absolutely hate the fact that kids have to wear swim hats in the swimming pool, um, especially if you're like me and you've got a girl with long hair, because trying to get their hair into those hats is an absolute nightmare and they're normally screaming and by the time you take them off later um, they've got tangled hair. We've all seen the tips where you fill them with water inside out and dump them on your child's head. I've never actually tried that and also I don't think the teachers would be doing that, lining them up as they get into the water because they have to get themselves ready. So I was really pleased to find one of these swimming hats. Um, it's by um, Decathlon's own brand which is Nab Nabar EG, Nabiji, I don't know how you say that, but never mind. But it's um, a fabric one and it makes it really easy to get it onto your head. So much so, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get it onto your head. So, all Easy has to do is pop her hair up on top of her head. She can put her hat over her ponytail and stretch it down over the front of her head. Look how sexy that looks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we have the same sized head, funnily enough. Either I've got a tiny head or she's got a massive head, one or the other. Um, but it does fit, and as you can see, I could pull that down over my ears if I wanted to. But it stays really nice and snug. None of my hair is out, but popping it on didn't hurt at all, and taking it off, it just slides off. It is really, really good. Um, this is the first time that I've actually seen these available in a shop. We did get some once um, from our old swimming pool that we used to go to years ago. They used to sell them in their shop, but well worth it, highly recommended. So mums with girls in particular, decathlon. What I also got in there was these. There is a hair one and a body one. These are microfiber towels and you can see they roll up and they've got like a big elastic and the elastic is actually attached to the towel um, so it doesn't go anywhere. And they are super soft, super fluffy, but super absorbent. Izzy says literally she'll wrap herself in this when she comes out of the pool. By the time she's got to the changing room, she's dry. Um, they literally suck up all the moisture, but for some reason they don't stay really soggy in their swimming bags either. So they go swimming first thing in the morning, so by the time they get home, what I'm used to is normally a damp, soggy, stinky swim kit. But actually these seem to dry themselves really quickly, um, and I can just hang them out briefly, let them let them dry off and actually she can get a couple of uses out of this. I'm not having to wash the swim kit every single time she comes home from swimming. So highly recommend that. They also do the little hair towel as well, which is really sweet. So it's one of the little hair wraps that you just pop onto your head. We've probably all seen these before. Twist up all your hair. I'm not gonna do it, but twist up all your hair into the back of the towel and then you've got a button on the front so you can just fasten it. Obviously I've not done it properly, but you can see, you get my gist. Um, so they're really nice, and again, that just soaks up all the moisture out of her hair that's left, even though she's wearing the swimming cap, it still gets obviously a little bit damp and soggy. So I really love those. So you're gonna to have to head off to Decathlon to get them. If I can find a similar one, I will link it down below. Now the last thing I want to share with you is something that I picked up in Pound Stretcher. We all love an iced coffee and I got these for 99p, it's a bag of ice frappe and there is 12 in the container. So what you get is a little sachet here and it's full of powder and all you need to do is add it to some milk, shake it up and you've got yourself a really nice iced coffee. Now I actually use my cocktail shaker to do this. I'll put a few cubes of ice in 
add a little bit of milk first, then the powder, then I give it a little bit of a shake and then I top it up with more milk. It just helps to stir it all up properly. If you don't have a cocktail shaker, then you could just use a water bottle um, or one of the, like a protein shake bottle, something like that. But giving it a really good shake is gonna get you a much nicer cuppa. Now they are really tasty, the kids absolutely love them, what you can also do is add a spoonful of drinking chocolate if you wanted more of an iced mocha um, and they're really delicious so I thought I would share them with you, they're by a company called Cafeteria Mercato and they are just iced frappe, as I say they were from my pound stretcher but you can also get them in places like B&M, Home Bargains and similar ones in the pound shops too. So I hope you've enjoyed my What I'm Loving Right Now video. As always, it's slightly strange, lots of different things. And I don't do a monthly one of these because I simply don't have enough things to share with you. But once I've stacked up another list of bits and pieces over the next couple of months that I want to show you, I will come back and do another one. I have got a link down below to my Amazon shop. Anything that I have featured that is available on Amazon will be in that Amazon shop. Little disclosure, it is an affiliate shop, so if you purchase from there, it will cost you no more, but it will give me a tiny little commission that I can put back towards making this channel a great place for everybody. So do go and check it out. All of my things that I'm loving right now videos, all of the bits and pieces um, that I feature in them are featured in that shop in their own specific category. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you all again soon. Bye.